Joel Hawthorne of the Morning Snapshot joins us now for the Trader Rundown. Good to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me, Angie. So it is a shorter trading week, but lots happening yes. nonetheless. Yes. What's on the minds of traders? Overall, I think uh, we're just really trying to digest what earnings news is going to come and kind of catapult this market to uh, back to that bull trend we've seen. Right. Talk about that bull trend. What do you see happening here? Uh, I think it will continue. I think we've digested a lot of the fears uh, going on with the coronavirus that we've spoken about before. I think as well, we've kind of bounced off some of those support levels that really uh, some of the short term traders or even bearish traders have thought would be ultimately uh, would be correction territory. Right. Uh, we've definitely bounced off of those. So I think right now is just the optimism that we can go higher. Uh, tech earnings were great. Uh, we've seen a lot of strong moves to the upside, and I think that will follow through. Are you concerned about Apple? Uh, short term, I think we see a little bit of a pullback, but not long term. I mean, you and I know they always figure it out, right? <laughs> that seems that is very true. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. So let's take a look at one of your trades of the day. It happens to be applied materials. What would be a position for you? Uh, I'm looking to the upside. We had a bit of a pullback here on a report of uh, a dividend being paid out here shortly. Uh, but I think that was just an opportunity to buy this stock at a cheaper price. We look at this chart, this, this stock has actually reached its all time high here last week, just after earnings of about 69.44. I think the uptrend has the opportunity to continue. Because of that, I'm looking to buy the 65s and sell the actual 70s. Like I said, that all time high is 69.44. So I think we'll, we'll kind of bust through that as resistance. Maybe hit 70, who knows, maybe hit, go further but I'm gonna take profits at 70s in, in the event that we hit that number. Okay, good to know. Thanks so much for the Trader Rundown today. Thanks for having me, Angie. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.